Now, our mandate at the FAA is very simple. We have to strike a balance between ensuring that this innovation can flourish on the one hand while maintaining the safest possible aviation system in the world. FAA Administrator Michael Herta speaking yesterday about drones and a public-private partnership called the Unmanned Aerial Systems Center of Excellence. This program designed to test and carefully implement drone technology in a safe way. Of course, that big conference yesterday and then yesterday afternoon, a man arrested by the Secret Service for flying a drone near the White House. The FAA says D.C. is a no-drone fly zone. But can the Secret Service keep up with this emerging technology? For more on this, let's welcome in Ronald Kessler. Ron is the author of the book, The First Family Detail. Secret Service agents reveal the hidden lives of the president. Of the presidents, I should say. Make it plural. Ronald, welcome to Newsmax Prime. It's good to have you with us. Great to be back. Now, apparently there was no threat to the president yesterday. At least we haven't detected one. But this whole notion of drones showing up at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, how big a problem is this going to be for the Secret Service? This is the most intractable problem. There really has not been a solution developed. Uh, the Secret Service is doing one good thing, and that is <clears throat> working with the uh, Sandia National Laboratory and other national laboratories, which are very advanced in uh, sophisticated uh, devices, uh, both in warfare and, and protecting nuclear sites, for example, to try to develop a solution. But uh, on the one hand, radar uh, mistakes drones for birds, uh, plus by the time uh, someone uh, unleashes a drone right next to the White House, th there probably would not be time to, to actually uh, shoot it down or, or disrupt its mechanisms. Uh, but they are working on it, and uh, we have to just cross our fingers. So what you're telling me is despite previous problems well chronicled with the Secret Service, the service and other governmental agencies are trying to keep up with drone technology, but the technology is not quite there yet to offer the type of protection needed at the executive mansion. That's right. Uh, and, you know, when you think of it, the idea that uh, the White House fence is so close to the White House uh, that it's at least uh, for now been very easy to scale the fence, that's, that's a much more serious problem. And, of course, that's another example of Secret Service laxness. In contrast to the fact that they are working on the drone problem, uh, there are just dozens of examples in my book the first family detail, and now more recently in the papers of <clears throat> Secret Service corner cutting, ignoring the most basic security precautions, the fact that uh, Gonzalez was able to intrude at the White House last, last September, the White, White House uh, door wasn't even locked, uh, and then the Secret Service lied about it, said that he had been apprehended at the door and that he was unarmed. It turned out he had penetrated the whole White House and that he was armed with a knife. It tells you a lot about the arrogance of the Secret Service, the culture of covering up, and that has led to all these problems. And uh, that culture includes some uh, dubious partying. Of course, the Inspector General's report on the drunk driving incident involving those two Secret Service agents who drove through an emergency barrier onto the White House grounds was recently released, and that report concludes it was more likely than not that both Connolly and Ogilvie's judgment was impaired by alcohol. The director of the service has openly admitted there is an alcohol problem within the agency. Does this report bring the required scrutiny to see changes within the Secret Service? Well, it, did, it does on this level, but really, even though uh, we had this example, we had the Secret Service prostitution scandal, a story that I broke, uh, misbehavior by agents at the lower le levels is not co that common, is not the real problem. The real problem is this laxness. For example, in my book, uh, I describe the fact that on a regular basis, agents will be pressured by uh, the White House or campaign staffs, and the Secret Service management will kowtow to them 
to let people into events without magnetometer or metal detection screening. It's just like letting passengers into a pass, uh, commercial airliner without that. You know, normally, uh, if if anyone did that uh, in the airline industry, they would not only be fired, but pro possibly prosecuted. And yet this is accepted behavior. It's simply unbelievable. I've been writing about this since 2009. Uh, after the prostitution scandal, I had a Washington Post op-ed uh, saying that uh, the problems are much worse than the prostitution. And, and you have sounded that alarm, and we're going to have to leave it there. But again, the book that chronicles a lot of this, The First Family Detail, Secret Service agents reveal the hidden lives of the presidents. And obviously, Ron Kessler reveals some hidden stories of the Secret Service. Newsmax Prime will continue.